this one came from. I would just assume Walmart. It's kind of an older toy. Um, it's just got these hard tears. Then this is one that you're supposed to be able to stick in to um, the fridge and freeze it up. But they don't come apart. You'd have to stick the whole toy in there. And then this one's got little balls in it. She doesn't use this basically at all. I don't know why we still have it. Um, then this one, you press these buttons and it makes a really loud song. I've done this video before and it was like taking over the whole video. And then it's just got this little rattle. It's super quiet. Um, and then these buttons don't work. Basically nothing works on it but these two things and this. That's all. So there's that. Um, here's uh, the child of mine, uh, zebra, I almost said monkey. Um, it's just a teether. Uh, she doesn't use teethers unless I like shove it in her mouth. She picked this one out. She, uh, it's got like this really soft, like ribbon tail, um, with the mane. She likes chewing on the soft, like, zebra part versus the, uh, the teether itself. Um, kind of isn't really all that great because you can't pull the zebra apart to put the teether in the fridge or freezer or wherever you want to stick it because then you'll ruin the zebra itself. So, um... We got this from Walmart, of course. Um, you will notice most of our toys are from Walmart. Uh, it's like five dollars, I think. Uh, so there's that. Okay, I'm gonna try to get through this quick because I just did a video, the same video, and it's like 14 minutes long. So we've got this monkey. These are all from Walmart again. Um, it just rattles, and she can get a hold of it, she doesn't really use it other than to shake it, of course, and chew on it. She likes to chew on the soft plush things. Same with this one, she chews on the, the trunk of the elephant and it rattles. Um, she likes to take the, chew on the tail or the, uh, trunk of the elephant. Sometimes the arms, but not very often. And it's plush again. Um, so, oh yeah, those, uh, elephant in the monkey, the rattle monkey, was, um, granimals just like these. Um, and then we got the crinkly books, it's like the plastic, like candy wrapper basically. Um, this one's got letters, um, this one's got numbers, and it shows you on the back how high it counts to you. And then the, um, uh, animal sounds. <laughs> I'm really tired and it's not really even that late in the day. So, um, there's that one. Those are all from Walmart. Okay. The best toy we ever got so far that we've found is the O-Ball Company. I wish we had bought the bouncer thing. Um, but we didn't, so, that was because I didn't know it was such a great company until after I saw it, somebody, somebody's kid has it, had it on YouTube, and then I, uh, finally made Jacob get one, so. This is the O-Ball, um, and the company's O-Ball, too, so, clearly, this is a ball, um, so it's got a bunch of little holes, a thousand different sizes, and then it's got this plastic piece right here, it's kind of hard, but the rest of the ball itself is like, you can squish it basically however you want it to, and then it pops right back up, and so if, as long as your kid didn't hit the plastic piece, they're not going to hurt themselves, and um, so she loves this thing. And she loves these as well. They're also by Oval. And they're just the teether keys. I wanted to get her keys. And finally we found these. And I was 
so happy. We had to glue it um, when we went to, um, it was either Butte or Bozeman, and finally got these. Cause in Missoula, they don't carry very many toys and stuff at Walmart. Oh yeah, that ball was like five, six dollars. I think these were three or four dollars. So it's just got, yeah, my finger's stuck in it. Um, the green and blue, and these are bendable. You can bend them just about any way you want it to, and it goes back. And they've got different textures on them. Um, this one's red and blue, and then this one's blue and yellow. And she loves these because she can, you can't take the keys off, that's the only thing I don't like. But she can stick her fingers in it, and then if she wants to, she can chew on it. Um, she hasn't really used teethers, but... So, this book is, um, Ammo. It's A-M-M-O by Charlie Harper. It's the ABCs. Um... Oh, our TV just had a problem. Um, so he was out in the wild and whatnot. And he saw these things out in the wild. And so he drew the best that he could um, what they look like. Some of them aren't. Um, see, like the squirrel. He's got a nut in his mouth. Um. They're really like colorful, pretty pictures. Not all of them um, are animals. Like U is underwater, but the V is vulture, and W is web. Not all of them are animals. Most of them are though, like hummingbird and giraffe. And um, she doesn't really use this book, but. Um, she is starting to learn how to like get it open and turn the pages and she likes to chew on it if you want um a book that your kid can have but won't rip the pages out of cardboard books are a good thing to use um I have no idea where that book came from. And then, this came from Bella's doctors when she was six months old. She got a shot and the nurse gave this to her to calm her down and distract her. It's just got Hello Kitty on one side and then number one, cuteness takes the prize with Kitty on this other side. When we were, first tried to get her to grab it, she could get a hold of it because it was big. But since then, she hasn't used it, and she used it once when she was like six months old. Um, here is the Bright Stars Monkey. She loves this thing. Um, it's got teethers for feet, and then buttons, pattern on its belly. It's either this one or a giraffe, and it was yellow or something. Um, her nickname when she was little like newborn and still kind of is this monkey um so it's got the soft like squishy head and then it's got like the plastic candy wrapper on the uh inside and then the teethers um this was from walmart i can't remember how much we paid for it um this is the Chico Monkey. Uh, she, he's got a little rattle in one hand and a banana, which kind of, if you push it really hard, it crinkles. Um, and then you pull this and it uh, vibrates. And then the teether, it's supposed to be t um, attachable to an infant car seat. But as of yesterday, she is no longer an in. in <laughs> in an infant car seat she is in a convertible car seat which i wish we would have done a long time ago because the one we got she could have used when she was five pounds so basically we could have used it when she was born um 
Anyway. Uh, she doesn't really use this monkey. I think this is from Target. I'm not sure, though. Uh, I don't know how much it was uh, for. We got it for... Bella got it for Christmas. Um, yeah, she doesn't really use it at all. Oh, yeah, these teethers. Like I said, she doesn't use teethers. There was three. There was this one, this one, and another one. But she doesn't use them, so it got left on the floor, and the dog got a hold of it. Not one of these. It was a different one. It's already in the garbage. But these are sitting at the bottom of her toy box. Um, at the end, I'll show you her toy box. It's not really a toy box. Until we move, and I can actually get her a real toy box. Um, but these, I don't, I think they're the, just the cheap Walmart teethers. She doesn't use them. So I don't see the purpose in having them anyway. Then these, oh yeah, the monkey was a bright star, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. Yep. I forgot to put this with the monkey. Um, she's got two of these, they're just the Bright Stars Rattles. She uses these all the time. She has a pink one. The top of it is a heart, and then the bottom is just like this one. Um, or like this one, whichever one, I don't remember. But it's laying around the house somewhere. Um, so, she loves these toys, they're Bright Stars. I don't remember how much they're for. I've had these from before Bella was born. So. So. Uh, I don't remember how much these were for. I think they still have them at Walmart. Pretty sure they have them at Walmart. Hi, Bella. She's trying to chill on the blanket. So these things are from Walmart. Not Walmart. The dollar store. Uh, she doesn't use this at all. It's just a little princess crown. And here's a baby doll with a super hard, hard head. She just likes chewing on the limbs of it. She doesn't use it other than that. She'll hug it and then she'll try to poke its eyes out. I don't know why she does that. It's just what Bella does. Um, okay. Yeah, this is a lot of mess. Um. This is, these are by Infantino. This is supposed to have a rattle on it. But we kind of took it off and put it on um, her walker. Because it makes a bunch of noise. But it's just got key rings on it. She doesn't use this at all. We got it for a baby shower gift. And we haven't used it at all. Bella doesn't even play with it. She hasn't, I'm sure she doesn't even know what it looks like. Um, another infant car seat, um, attachment, or toy thing, also by Infantino. It's just this little rabbit, and if you can tell it chimes. It's got a pretty little flower on it, um, and a pretty little dress. And, um, a diamond, like, very hard teether, but still a teether. Um, like I said before, she doesn't use an infant car seat. She likes this one because she likes to shake it. And we got this, I'm tempted to say, really close to Easter. That's hence the bunny. Um, but she just likes to shake it. And this. Um, oh yeah, with that Chico monkey. I used to have a ton of toys on her car seat when she was like a couple months old to keep her entertained and distracted. Um, and she, that Chico monkey, I would swear, would jump off the car seat all the time. But this, again, is, um, Infantino. I don't know what happened to the hook of it. Um, it's a crown, clearly. But then it's got little gems, and it rattles, and you can make it, make a bunch of noise. Um, once again, it was attached to her car seat. And it is no longer attached to her car seat. Um, I took all of her toys off of her car seat when we went to the fire station. Because they told us that it could potentially hurt Bella if it, um, if we had ever gotten a crash. So I took everything off. 
because I didn't want a fun thing to become a very painful thing. So she doesn't play with this at all. I could throw this away or donate it or whatever and she would never notice it was gone. Unlike the O-Ball and uh, the Granimals thing. Um, what else? Okay, the last two things. Gosh, it's 15 minutes on. Um, these are by Fish Price. I'm not going to turn this on because it's going to take more time. She knows how to turn the pages on this book. Um, if you put it down, it has a frog. And then if you lift it up, it says Peekaboo Baby. She doesn't like listening to it talk and talk and talk. But she likes, like, when it opens and closes, it makes, like, this weird noise when it's on. She likes that more than anything. And then this is a mini, um, ball. And she just likes to toss it around and make me play fetch. Basically. Um, so, there's that. And I told you I'd show you guys this. This is her toy box currently. It's just a wife's box containing all of her toys. So, um, that's it. And I will talk to you guys here soon.